Over the years, government, in its effort to provide better living standards for all by giving everyone an opportunity to own their own homes, has distributed tens of thousands of house lots. To assist those in the low income bracket, the cost of house lots are subsidized by government. Further, the Housing Ministry has introduced another initiative that will elevate their housing standards. Government, in collaboration with the Inter-American Development Bank, has implemented a series of programs aimed at addressing occupancy and issues of affordability. This project will see the construction of 400 core homes across the country under the second low-income settlement program. This program falls within government-wider scheme of ensuring that we reduce poverty, of ensuring that we develop programs and strategies that would target poverty directly and that would bring direct benefits to our people who are less fortunate. And we are working in partnership with the various commercial banks so that we can come up with a formula that would allow our people to have access to loans in a more uh, friendly environment, in an environment that conditionalities are, are not burdensome, and in an environment where the security is greater, that is where a final product, a home will be offered up as equity so that the bank can have more security and you can have uh, a less risk at the end of the day. I want to say this afternoon that this is another very important event taking place in Region 5. Last Thursday, we actually distributed over 200 house lots at Blaymont in this very scheme, phase 3 of the scheme. We are in the Block D1, phase 1 of the scheme. The core unit, which is a house built three feet from ground level, is a modest 330 square foot timber and concrete structure with no internal partition walls, except for the enclosed sanitary block comprising a toilet and shower. The unit is also outfitted with a basic kitchen sink and electric wiring and plumbing. This core home offers these households an excellent opportunity to restructure their lifestyle to restructure the way they utilize their resources and to maximize the use of such resources. An important aspect of this accomplishment here today is the whole focus of empowerment, empowerment of women, the whole focus of targeting vulnerable groups, and the whole process of ensuring that single parent families are catered for, their needs are addressed, and the strain that is placed on them as a result of their circumstances is not a burden someone. The application process, which commenced in May 24, 2010, was opened only to persons that were already allocated lands and were living in buildings of low standard construction. It has to date saw a total of 474 persons across 12 housing schemes applying. It to one of those applicants were from Bath, West Coast, Burbies. As we present the keys to the beneficiaries today, they will also be receiving a handbook which we prepared with do-it-yourself tips to empower and position the beneficiaries to maintain and expand their homes and by extension consolidate their family life. As the saying goes, give a man a fish, he eats for a day. Teach him to fish and he eats for a lifetime. Sustainability is the objective here. When we visit, we want to see beneficiaries who have used the core as a start to expand and consolidate the occupancy of their house lots. I, I, I glad that she got a home because she could have never build a home. She live in a camp, put it a camp with zinc mm -hmm. and just put a little thing and that is where she is living. And then she's single. Okay. She can get raped, she can get anything, you know, thing and so but now you got a house could be well protected. Job hard forget the Barbies. Mm. And um without a job and without money you can't make a house. I thank the president and who serve a participate in this um, project. Thank you very much and I get a benefit from the courthouse for live a happy life. 
and, and whatever you get something to do in the yard, you try to do as much as you can do. Government, as part of its continuous efforts to bridge the equality gap among its citizens and to ensure that individuals that are allocated land titles and cannot afford to build homes occupy their allocations, is in the process of constructing core homes in Tabatinga Region 9, Westminster Region 3, and the Section EE Numperl, East Coast of Demerara.